Hey YouTube, this is just a quick overview slash review of the Liebeck ZC3DV lane controller acquired recently. I do believe it is discontinued, but I have been looking for a lane controller for a while now, but they're a little pricey at times for a decent one. So I actually was on eBay and I found this one for $44 shipped and I couldn't pass it up because I think normally new they're well over a hundred dollars and I think even used sometimes I see them for 80 to 90 uh, it was from Canada the guy who had them had it said that he bought it as a backup so it's new but it is used he just never had a chance to use it so um, it's used in brand new condition I guess you would say but there's no scratches nothing I mean it, it came perfectly mint it was just missing the box and instructions but you really don't need one of that stuff to learn how to use one of these so basically I'm going to show you guys how it plugs into the camera and what it can do but very quickly what it does is this will allow you to record and stop without touching your camera and this will zoom in and zoom out without having to touch your camera and I like that because when I'm filming a wedding or an event I don't want to touch the camera and risk it tapping it or causing a little shake and I maybe just my OCD-ness but I like to give a perfect product to my client if I can and if you don't have to touch the camera I think that's a good thing you you just risk not hitting buttons and all kinds of other things so I've wanted one of these for a while so I'm going to kind of demonstrate what you can do with it and how it works and where it plugs in I do believe this is a universal one it should work in Canon's Panasonic's and Sony's but I guess you'd have to try it. There was no list of like model numbers. But I think any professional camera that comes with a link controller input, I think you'd be good to go. So I'll show you a quick demonstration of what it can do. Okay, so here is the link controller mounted on my tripod. And as you can see, it just connects to one of the legs. And all you do is screw this out and in to hold it onto the tripod leg. Now mine's loose just for demonstration purposes but normally you would keep it tight so mine is a very basic one which you can do is rec stop and record and you can zoom in and zoom out so some people might be wondering why you'd want something like this I like it because when you're filming a wedding or something important to you I don't like to touch the camera and whisk like a little banging it on accident or a little shakiness from touching the zoom or anything like that so this allows you to control your stop and record and your zoom in and out from down here. It's like a remote control basically and you don't have to touch the camera and it's real smooth as well. So if you're wondering where it connects to, now this is connected to my Panasonic HCX1. It is a professional camera so your consumer cameras probably aren't going to have this port. They might but I don't think, I wouldn't think they would but mine connects in right here and this allows you to control your zoom and everything with one of these controllers is specifically made for this type of input so I'm gonna go to a different view right now and kinda of show you how it works with the Panasonic camera okay so we're at the viewfinder of the Panasonic camera and as you can see the camera's paused uh, it's not doing anything it's just literally looking through the viewfinder so one of the first things you can do with a controller like this is you can zoom in and zoom out. So I'll show you right here. I'm not touching the camera. I'm just on the link controller on the leg of the tripod. And you can go real smooth and you can go real quick. Um, I think it depends on how I have the zoom set up on the camera. So what's nice about that is like why would you need something like this? Well, I don't like to touch the camera while I'm recording if I don't have to. And the reason why is, that, say I'm going to touch the zoom to, to zoom in on something when I'm filming, I don't want to risk this. You see that little shake when your hand touches it ever so slightly? Something like that would bother me. I think most clients probably wouldn't even notice it, but for me, I, I don't like to put out a product like that. So this eliminates the need to touch the camera while I'm recording something. So I can also record and stop recording with this controller as well. So again, I'm just using the link controller on the leg of the tripod. I'm going to hit the record button. And as you can see, it's recording now. And I can also stop it. So it's very nice. It eliminates touching the camera. And 
I think it just really gives you a professional touch. And if you've never used one before, I mean, it's just brilliant. I, I really love these. I've been trying to get one for a while. I think this one's been discontinued and it normally retails for over 130, 140 bucks. I'd have to check, but I got it used in brand new condition. Whoever had it before me said they bought it as an extra. They didn't use it, but they, they threw the box away. So it was basically brand new and I got it shipped to my house for $40. So, I mean, it was a steal. It was kind of a no-brainer. So, I'm going to try it out on other cameras. I have a Sony NX100 I can try it on too, but it definitely works on Panasonic's. I'm going to assume it would work on the Sony. And I also, it was kind of a surprise, but tomorrow I have a Canon XF400 coming, the new camera that was just released. It's their 4K version in the XF series. I'm going to try it out for a few weeks. It does have a 30-day return policy. Don't know if I'm going to keep it. Not sure if it has really the specs I'm looking for in a 4K camera. And to be perfectly honest, I am super happy with this Panasonic HCX1. I absolutely love it. But I'd like to try out the Canon. I do miss having my old XA10. So I'm going to give it a try and kind of see what I think of it. So you'll definitely see some new content on the channel very soon, like this week, with that Canon stuff. But I'll also try out this length controller on that camera as well and see if it works on a Canon. I'm going to assume it does as long as the cameras have that type of input. But I'll confirm for you later this week. Thank you.